Hi again, everybody. Chris Tisdale here. Thank you for joining me. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my series of videos on geometry and geometric constructions using circle arc template and a straight edge. Now, the motivation behind the use of this circle arc template is in response to some of the difficulties that students have with compasses. Compasses are difficult to use. They don't produce very accurate drawings and they can be weaponized. So when we designed this new tool, this circle arc template you can see behind me, we were trying to make compasses easier to use, more accurate and safer. So let me show you the, the new tool in action. I'm going to um, show you a construction that is an absolute classic where we construct a length of root two units. Now, this problem is thousands of years old. And it's interesting because in all of the constructions that we've seen so far, we're always assuming that you can construct a, a point or, or a set of points. And so that raises a deeper question about what kinds of points or lengths are constructible with a, a circle arc template and a straight edge, and which ones are not. So I'm going to um, start with a, a basic construction, which is constructing the square root of two. So let me share my screen with you, my document camera, and we can have a look. So the, the basic challenge then is to construct root two. And by that, I mean, we're going to construct a, a, a line segment of length root two given a unit length, okay? So that's the challenge. Okay, my dog's down here. He's, she's not sure if she wants to go in or out. So, okay, so um, the first step with this is usually to construct um, integers, right? Whole numbers that are, that are uh, positive or non-negative. Okay, so um, let me do that. That's very easy. And then we'll, we'll move on to something a bit more difficult. Now, the circle arc template that I'm going to use is part of this bigger tool called a Mathemat. And this is the particularly important circle arc template. You can position the center point at a, at a given point and you've got a straight edge. Okay, so they're the two, two tools we're going to use. You don't need all of these markings, but they can be useful and interesting in other ways. So let me start off by drawing a line segment. Okay, and from that, I'm going to construct, say, the set of um, uh, integers, right? A, a, a natural numbers. So one, two, three, four, those sorts of things. Okay, now this is a slightly smaller circle arc template than my previous videos. I just want to make sure I can fit everything in. Um, but the size of the circle arc template does not matter. Okay, so I'm going to start by placing the center of my circle arc template at zero. And you can see it's going to cut the axis at one point. Now, the distance from here to here, which is incidentally the radius of my circle arc template, that's going to be the unit length. Okay, so I can just move my circle arc template over here and make another cut and another cut and another cut and so on and you can continue that indefinitely right so in theory you have constructed the natural numbers and if i wanted to go to the left i could extend this line and do the same thing but to the left and then i would have the um the uh, negative whole numbers, right? So together they form the integers. So that's pretty easy. So how do I actually get um, root two out of this? Well, I'm glad you asked. So 
let me um, show you how to do it. The idea is to drop or construct a line segment two, one, that is normal or perpendicular to this line segment, right? And then if you can go out one unit in the vertical direction, then you've got two sides of a triangle, and then you just join them up with a um, with, with the hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse will have length root two. Okay, so I've shown you all these moves in previous videos, but let me just show you how to do it uh, again. So in order to drop a perpendicular to the point one, I'm going to draw a semicircle, or just a slight, slightly larger semicircle that cuts the axis at zero and two. And then what I'm going to do is essentially bisect the, the interval one to two. So I can do that by placing my circle arc template center at two and just drawing a little arc there. Okay, so essentially what I've done there is I've constructed a, a right, a, a, an equilateral triangle there. I, re, I haven't really bisected it. Okay, and so I've got a point here, a point of intersection here, two points, I can do a line. So let me draw in a line and I can basically make this a ray. Okay. And so now what I can do with this point here, I'll put this, the center of the arc there and make another point of intersection. And then I'll just drop it down to the point one. Okay, so let me change colors. I'll do that in um, a red, let's say. So I can go up here and go up there. Okay, and so what I can do now is just connect this up and because this is radius one I know that point of intersection from there to there will be exactly one unit so let me go down with um, uh, let me have let me do pink for this one so get it in the right spot okay so you can think Here's my point of intersection. That's also a radius. This is 90 degrees. This is a radius. So that's one unit. So now I've got a tri uh, the two sides of a triangle, a right angle triangle. That's one unit. That's one unit. And so all I need to do now is to connect up this final hypotenuse. Okay, so this will have length root two. Okay, that's it. That's a pretty um, easy construction just using the construction that I've shown you before where you drop a perpendicular to a point on a line. Okay, that's it. So, so of course we'll be one unit and this will be one unit. So there you go. Now, what happens if I wanted to construct some other square roots of uh, numbers like root three or, or uh, uh, root five or something like that? Well, that's pretty easy to do. What I can, what I can do is I can, um, if I want to, I can extend this a bit and drop a perpendicular through this point here, right? of one unit in length, just like we did down here. So you're gonna get a triangle with base root two, height one, and there's a right angle, and the hypotenuse will be root three. So you can continue this around um, as, as for as far as you like. It's not very efficient, but it shows that it can be done. Okay, it shows that it can be done. Okay, so what do you think? Have you used compasses to do this? How did you go? The pictures here are pretty accurate. Um, 
they, they look the way they that they're supposed to look, I guess. Um, they're they're a, a very uh, precise representation of what's going on. Um, now, it turns out that all the square roots of integers, root two, root three, root four, root five, they're all constructible using a circle arc template and um, a straight edge. There are some um, lengths and numbers that are not constructible. So for example, the cubic root of two, you can't do it with a, a circle arc template or um, a compass. So th this is a really interesting and deep question. And it, it has the potential to sort of link geometry with the theory of equations and, and number theory, right? Um, what kinds of numbers are constructible with these tools and which ones are not? All right, hope you enjoyed this presentation, everybody. Um, let me know your experiences with compasses. Uh, join me again. Look forward to your company. Bye.